Okay, we're going to look at finding equation of lines when we're given just two points. Let's get an example here. Find the equation of a line through 3, negative 4, negative 2, 8 in standard form. Well, a couple of things we need to remember. In order to find the equation of a line, we learn that we need a slope. And we also need to find a point. Any point will do. Any point. Any point, which we usually call x1, comma, y1. Well, we have any point. We actually have two points that we can use. And so let's just use, we'll say that this is equal to 3, comma, negative 4. The other piece we need to know is what does standard form mean? Well, to re remind you, that's ax plus by equal to c, where a, b, and c are integers. Our one problem that we have now is we need to find the slope. Well, slope, if you recall, is the change in y over the change in x, which we like to say y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Some formulas have it y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. doesn't really matter how you do it. But we're going to use these points. And we've called this one already x1, y1. And so this must be x2, y2. Plugging them into our equation, y1 is negative 4 minus y2 is 8. And then x1 is uh, x1 is 3 minus, be careful of our signs, a minus 2, which simplifies to a negative 12 over 5. 3 plus 2 is 5. So there is my slope, nice and messy looking slope. But I have what I need. I have my slope, and I have a point. So let's use our equation that I like, y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1. And I plug my values in. So it's y minus my y1 value is a negative 4. Comes from here. And that equals to my m, my m, which is here, minus 12 over 5. x minus x1, well, that's here, my 3. And then I can have my equation, and I can manipulate it now. And if I continue doing that, If I continue doing that, I know at this point I need to take this and I need to multiply by 5, because that's what my denominator is. Multiply by 5. Happy days means those cancel away. And so I get 5y plus 4 times 5 is a plus 20, equal to negative 12x plus 36. And I'm asked to put it in standard form, so bring the 12 over, I get 12x plus 5y equals subtract the 20, I get 16. And this is the final equation. So even though my slope started off pretty messy with as a fraction, if I use this equation here, it happily eliminates the fractions that I can just deal with integers. Another example here, let's try Find the equation of standard form through these two points. So again, I need to find the slope, which is a change in y, a change in y, y1 minus y2 over the change in x. So I get negative 4 minus 1 quarter over 1 half, oh, positive 1 half, minus 1 half. Well, a quarter minus a quarter, well, that's negative 4 and a quarter, which is negative 17 over 4. A half minus a half is a 0. Oh, we have a problem here. This value is undefined. We cannot divide by 0. 
Hmm. That tells me a couple things. I remember what those equations look like, but if you're not quite so sure, let's do a quick little sketch of this. Here's my xy axis. If I take this first point, I'm going to go, here's 1. I'm going to go a half, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So here is neg 1 half, comma, negative 4. This point is a half, 1 quarter. So it's right here half one quarter and if I connect them I get this line right like that that is a vertical line vertical lines are always look like this x equals one half those are all my x values and so x is a half here x is a half here so that is my equation that is in standard form it's also in point intercept form or y equals mx plus b form. One more to go through. This one says show that. Show that the equation line through those two points is this. Well, show that means you're not allowed to pretend, you're not allowed to, have to use this information. You have to use this at the very end, and that's what your answer should be. So. Basically, it's like knowing the answer before you even started. So I have to show all my work. So I need my slope, which will be y1, 4, minus y2, over negative 2, minus 1. So I get negative 5. Oh, sorry. I get negative 1 over negative 3, which is equal to 1 third. I'm going to use this point for no good reason. I could e just easily use two, negative 2, 4. Use my linear equation. Slope point x minus x1. y minus y1 is 5. m is 1 third. x minus uh, x1 is 1. Okay, so as always, I'm going to multiply through by 3, everything by 3. And so I get 3y minus 15 equals, well, those 3s cancel. I love canceling those 3s. We'll do it in red because I really like to see that. And I'm left with x minus 1. So I will now add my, I have... 3y is equal to x add 15, so I get plus 14. And then I get divide by 3. I get y equals x over 3 plus 14 over 3. And I can jump for joy because this is exactly what that is. I have successfully shown that. That is key. I must know what show that means. I need to use that idea.